me, Ryan T. Hand. Welcome to another episode of the Ryan T. Show podcast. That's right, ghouls and gals. You're tuning in to the uh, hottest podcast in the uh, Rio Grande Valley, or like, or so we like to think here at the uh, Ryan T. Show podcast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, ghouls and gals, we got a Hell of a show for you all tonight. Tonight we're going to be talking about a uh, a few movie trailers. We're going to be talking about Across the Spider-Verse. We're going to be talking about Scream 6. We're going to be talking about Infinity Pool starring uh, the new queen of fucking horror. F- uh, f- I was going to say Florence Pugh. Fucking Mia Goth. We're going to be talking about uh, 65 starring Adam Driver and some fucking dinosaurs. And speaking of dinosaurs and fucking beasts... We're going to be talking about Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. But before we get into that uh, fun shit, um, how have you ghouls and gals been? What have you ghouls and gals been up to? Um, Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. And um, for those of you all that are tuning in to my uh, live on Facebook, what's up? For those of you that are tuning in on my live on Twitch, what's up? Thank you for uh, sticking around and supporting the channel. We're going to be trying to go live on uh, various platforms at the same time. Like right now, I'm live on uh, Facebook, and I'm also live on uh, Twitch as well. So uh, if you don't like Facebook, you can go on Twitch. If you don't fuck with Twitch, you can go on Facebook, whatever. We got all the fucking uh, poisons for you, ghouls and gals. So make sure you pick your poison and uh, stay tuned here with the Ryan T Show podcast. But yeah, ghouls and gals, uh, I'm sorry I've been a little bit MIA. I've been a little bit missing in fucking action. I uh, got fucking sick, man. I was fucking super sick. I've been super fucking sick since like last Friday. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was kicking my fucking ass. As you can probably hear right now, I'm still a little bit hoarse. But as far as that, I'm fucking completely better. Um, I feel 100% better. I mean, I'm even drinking the fucking, some big fucking red right here. Got the fucking big red machine right here to fucking keep me going and shit like that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be getting into some movie trailers. And, uh, the first one we're going to be talking about today, ghouls and gals, is going to be, uh, the topic of the fucking day, fucking Scream 6, ghouls and gals. I can't believe... We're getting to Scream 6 this fucking quickly. Especially since we had that whole debacle with uh, Nev. Is it Nev or Neve? Neve, Nev, Nev Campbell. And like they didn't want to like pay her. And that's the reason why she's not coming back for like this movie. But uh, we're getting uh, Jenna Ortega. So that's something, right? And we're getting, uh, I guess, I think Courtney Cox is going to come out as well. Um, I haven't seen the trailer at all. I haven't seen any of these trailers. So, uh... I'm seeing them right exactly with you, uh, so we're both going to watch them at the exact same time. And uh, for you, for those of you folks that are watching on Facebook Live, you won't be able to see the trailers. Uh, so I suggest if you want to watch the trailers, you head on over to my Twitch channel, or you uh, wait till later when I up- upload the uh, full video. But with fur- without further ado, let's get into Scream 6. I'm going to bring that bad boy up right here. And uh, let's see what we got going, ghouls and gals. Oh, shit. Here we go. We got it started. Paramount, Spike, Spyglass Media Group. Oh, shit. Ghostface is out of the suburbs, folks. He's in the big city. We got him over here hanging out in the big city. Big city lights. In a city with millions. Oh, shit. We got the Wolfman. And we got our fucking uh, usual fucking suspects. Jenny Ortega there staring at a couple of ghost faces. Melissa Barrera fucking staring at some ghost faces. The chick that supposedly is Randy's uh, fucking niece staring at some ghost faces. <laughs> They're all staring at a bunch of fucking ghost faces. I kind of like that they're taking uh, that they're taking fucking ghost faced out of the fucking suburbs and bringing him into the fucking uh, city. It's like whenever they brought uh, Jason into the fucking city. You know what I mean? Anytime they bring uh, killers into the fucking city, it's gonna fucking be good. It's gonna fucking rule. Oh, and we got that coming out. Uh, we got uh, Scream Six coming out on. Uh, it looks like Scream Six is gonna be coming out. Where do I have that? I should have been more prepared, ghouls and gals. I don't have my notes. Scream 6 comes out March 10th, 2023. So uh, we can be looking forward to seeing Scream 6 uh, March to March. 
2023. And what's up? We got Sid Retro in the comments. Ghost faced in the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you got to check out that trailer, Sid, man. You got to head on over to uh, Twitch where we got the trailer playing, playing on the Ryan T Show Twitch channel. And uh, before the end of the year, uh, me and Sid Retro are going to get on uh, a live, a Facebook live or like a Twitch live or something like that. And we're going to talk about the top 10 best movies of 2022. That's right, ghouls and gals, because it's, a right, it's about that end of the year time, that special time of the year where we either shit on or pray praise the films that we watched throughout 2022 and uh me and sid retro are going to be doing that uh in the next couple of days here but uh yeah speaking of uh, 2023 and things that are coming in 2023 ghostface in the city looks fucking pretty I mean, it looks fucking good, man. I mean, I'm really interested to see them take him out of the suburbs and have him just kind of run around everywhere and uh, have him kind of like let loose on Halloween night. I don't think we've had a uh, we've had a uh, scream movie that's taken place on Halloween night, which uh, you know should be a given. I mean, it's a fucking guy dressed up in a fucking Halloween costume. You would think that they would have him, you know, somewhat interact with like the holiday of Halloween. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see that uh, this takes place seemingly on Halloween, even though it's uh, coming out in March. Uh, so it doesn't look like we're going to have to wait too long to check that out. That's, again, coming out March 10th, 2023. And uh, I'm interested to see who's going to be Ghostface, if it's going to be somebody familiar that we know, somebody from the original Scream movies. I don't know who's alive still from those movies. I don't mean, like, in real life, but I mean, like, in canon in the movies. I mean, it can't be fucking Matthew Lillard. I mean, that fucking ship already sailed a long time ago. I mean, the Ghostface isn't walking around with a fucking cane. Matthew Lillard's a little up there in fucking age, so I don't think it's going to be him. But uh, yeah, it should be really fucking interesting to see what they do with that. And uh, I'm going to be checking it out. I'm going to be watching it. Hopefully, uh, Jenna Ortega gets a little bit more to do in this now that she uh, has uh, gotten some of her fucking uh, Wednesday acclaim and her fucking ex acclaim. I, I think we're going to see her get a more uh, meaty role, so to speak. Maybe she even gets killed by fucking Ghostface. Who fucking knows? Maybe she becomes a new Nev Campbell because Nev Campbell's not going to be up in this shit. They didn't want to pay her that fucking sweet, sweet, sweet greenbacks. So she's not going to come out in this fucking movie at all. Which, in my opinion, that sucks that they don't want to pay her the money that they owe her. Run Nev Campbell that money. She's a fucking icon. She's a fucking scream queen. She's a fucking iconic fucking actress. But I also think we need to move away from the Sydney Prescott storyline. And hopefully this movie is moving away from the Sydney Prescott storyline. Because movie after movie, we're six movies in. And five out of the six movies are about fucking uh, Sydney Prescott's fucking... The, you know what I mean? Like, we need to move away from that. If Scream can be any fucking buddy, then it could be any fucking buddy. Then we need to take on fucking other fucking storylines. We need to leave leave behind Sidney Prescott. I'm tired of fucking Sidney Prescott. I'm tired of that shit. I'm fucking, uh, I'm glad that they're moving on from her. I just wish that they would have uh, paid, my, paid my girl her fucking money and fucking let her come out in the fucking movie and let her get killed by fucking Ghostface and just give her a fucking good proper fucking send off. But instead, they're giving fucking horror movie fans and scream fans a big old slap in the fucking face by not involving her at all whatsoever on the fucking premise of oh well we didn't think that she was worth uh, you know x amount of fucking dollars pay her the fucking money give her the fucking proper send-off you know be on the good graces of the fucking fans because that's who fucking keeps the fucking lights on and that's how you should have fucking uh done scream six i mean i'm gonna see scream six scream six looks uh you know, really fucking uh, cool. I like the premise. I like that it's something new and actually something fresh. I mean, it looks like it's going to do what the uh, previous movie, Scream 2022, thought it was doing. It thought it was being this big, fresh, reinventive thing for the Scream franchise. And it, and it was very much the same. I'm not saying that it's a bad film, but it's just... You know, it's another fucking Scream movie. It's the exact same movie that they've been making. So uh, hopefully uh, Scream uh, 6 or IV, as they're calling it, um, is uh, something a little bit more fresh and new. But I have to say, I mean, 
Scream 6, starting off on the wrong foot with me and other fucking uh, horror movie and Scream fans. They're not involving Neve Campbell. They're for, you know, because they don't want to fucking pay her. They're being fucking Mr. Fucking Krabs, fucking Penny, fucking Pinchin, fucking Lobsters. And uh, yeah, man, that fucking sucks. That sucks that that's the fucking case. But I can go on about that all fucking day and all fucking night. Um, but we got some more trailers to talk about. We got some more movies to shit on. We got some more fucking everything to talk about the next one we're going to be talking about ghouls and gals is um the spider-verse trailer and uh holy shit man i saw the uh spider-verse um i didn't see the trailer because remember i haven't seen any of these trailers yet but i saw like one of these uh breakdowns on like ign or one of those fucking comic book websites and they have, like, every fucking Spider-Man, like, imaginable in this fucking movie. I fucking saw, like, Spider-Man 2099. I saw Scarlet Spider-Man. I saw fucking some Spider-Mans from the fucking comic books. I saw fucking Nintendo 64 PS1 Spider-Man. <clears throat> so this is going to be fucking wild. Um, I love the, I love the uh, initial first uh, Into the Spider-Verse movie. Miles Morales is one of my favorite fucking characters. Um, I don't know why I'm talking with my with my hands so much maybe i'm trying to do some fucking webs uh but yeah man i'm really interested in what they're gonna do with uh this film and then and you know how they're gonna connect this as a trilogy because uh, apparently the first one is a fr the this one um this one coming up is a um a double film and so the other one would make it a trilogy. So, yeah, I'm really interested in how they're going to do that and stuff like that. So that should be really fucking cool to check out. And, again, I haven't seen this fucking trailer. So uh, let's load that bitch up and let's see what we got. And three, two, one, Spider-Verse ago. Let's go, webheads. All right, here we go. New trailer starts now. I hate that they do that now. I hate that they have, like, starting now, trailer starting now. Just start the fucking trailer. I fucking hate that shit. All right, here we go. Sony doing that hardcore like animation you know what let me bring up the trailer a little bit let me bring up the trailer here so that way maybe y'all can hear the, the sound a little bit so just give me one second i'm gonna hit the pause i'm gonna pause that for one minute and then i'm gonna get into the across the spider verse trailer over here see we're we're fucking improvisers here on the uh, ryan t show we may not be prepared, but we are improvisers. All right, I have it up right here, right here. Just chill, guys. I got it right here. It's all cool. It's all copacetic. All right. Let's bring this bad boy up. Of course, a lot of fucking ads. Of course, a million ads when I'm trying to fucking do the trailer. All right, we're starting the trailer now. All right, here we go. Trailer starting now. All right, this looks good, man. This looks good. I'm, I'm down with it already. I'm down with it. I love the animation style. Our hero, Miles Morales, is fucking back. His mom's like creeping up behind him all Batman style. She's like, my baby, what are you doing? I like that they're focusing on this Spider-Man. They could have easily used like Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider-Man, but they're using my boy Miles, man, and I'm, d I'm down with that. I like that. Oh, yeah, his fucking major heart on that he has for fucking uh, Spider-Gwen. Man, is half of this trailer fucking... Uh... Okay, I was like, give us some new footage. I was like, half of this trailer is just like fucking footage from the, the first movie. Uh, fucking shot that guy in the stomach with the web. I like his relationship with his dad. I like that he has like a nice relationship with his dad. They always portray dads as being like shitty in movies. Yeah, into the Spider Verse we go, Miles. Oh shit! Damn, I, they weren't fucking kidding. They got every fucking Spider Man up in this bitch. They got Spider Dad, Spider Wolf. They, my boy Peter B. Parker's coming back. Excuse me, got the beer burps. Oh shit! Spider Woman, hell yeah! Oh shit! Twenty ninety nine. 
Miguel O'Hara, baby. Man, this looks good. This looks fucking good, man. Whoa, shit. They're like all having a war or some shit. Like all the Spider-Mans are like chasing towards, chasing Miles or something. What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh, fucking Spider-Man 2099 has like laser web or some shit. Exclusively in theaters, June 2nd, 2023. Damn, that looks fucking dope. I cannot wait to fucking check that out. That looks fucking amazing. My mind is like fucking blown right now. I was talking shit a little bit about that trailer because it had like some fucking reused footage from um, from the first movie. But holy fuck. Holy fuck. I just felt like I just feel like I just saw like visual fucking crack. Like, they gave me, like, the first taste for free, and then they are like, you want more, motherfucker? You gotta go to the fucking movie theater and give us some of your hard-earned fucking money. And then you can see all the Spider-Man. You can see them shoot their white webs all over your face, neck, and chest. All over the fucking screen. Holy fuck. That looks fucking great. That looks fucking... Whoa. Whoa. I need to calm down. I got a little too excited there. That looked really... That looks really fucking good. Holy shit, that looks really good. I'm like fucking, I'm pumped for that. I think I'm more excited for Across the Spider-Verse than I was uh, Scream 6. Because holy shit, Across the Spider-Verse looks fucking lit. Like, even though we've already kind of seen this in No Way Home, we saw already the, you know, multiverse or whatever. We saw multiple Spider-Men on screen or whatever, but fuck man this just hits a little fucking different this is like on that fucking spider-man 90s uh fucking series where we got like the secret wars and shit like that like this is like some next level fucking comic book shit and i really fucking dig it oh my god i can't wait to check this out and when's this coming out again coming out june 2nd 2023 so that's going to be coming up pretty soon ghouls and gals and fuck I cannot fucking wait. I cannot fucking wait to check that out. That looks fucking good. Really, really fucking good. Um, the next one that we got coming out uh, is another trailer that I haven't seen. We got uh, Transformers uh, Beast Wars. I honestly can't believe that they're making a fucking Beast Wars uh, fucking movie. I Like, that's fucking wild to me that they're making a fucking Beast Wars movie. Like, I just remember, like, the oddly fucking made, uh, like, uh, 3D, uh, cartoon from, like, back in the day, and, like, Jesus fucking Christ, I would have never thought that they would have, uh, made a, uh, fucking movie out of that, but, uh, here we are, we're gonna check that one out, and, uh, Beast Wars, Transformer, Rise of the Beast comes out June 9th, 2023, and uh, I'm going to pull that trailer up right now. And we can get that one going. Let me find that trailer over here. Damn, this trailer like starts like abruptly. Like I'm not wasting any time. Like it just like... Hold on, let me start the trailer real quick. All right, let's go. Boom. <laughs> Oh shit, they got some Biggie Smalls up in here. Typical crane shot. I wonder if Michael Bay is directing this one. I don't think he's directing this one. I think they like took the Transformers away from Michael Bay. Our world was transformed. Uh, I see what they did there. But something else came too. Has awakened. Oh shit! The beast fucking Optimus Prime. Stand down. Stand down. What the fuck? How are they both in the same universe? Or how are they both in the same time period? Aren't the aren't the beast ones supposed to be like back in the day? Also, is Haley Steinfeld coming back for this one? Wasn't she the last person to use a Bumblebee? I was gonna say like Bumblebee's kind of like a whore. Like he just has different owners all the fucking time. He never has like the same owner. Oh, that's cool. This looks good, I guess. A cheetah. 
Oh, I remember Cheetah. I remember the Cheetah one. Well, I, remember, I think there was like a Pterodactyl one too. Man, they're always fucking Bumblebee up. They're like always stabbing him or doing some crazy shit to him. Oh shit. Shit, Optimus. Oh shit! This actually looks kinda hype. This looks kinda hype. This looks kinda hype. Whoa, 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 whoa! Fuck! Just when I fucking thought I was done, you motherfuckers bring me back in. Just when I thought I was done with the fucking Transformers movies, you motherfuckers bring me back fucking in. God fucking damn it. There you went and done it. You had to fucking uh, make something that I actually want to fucking see. Shit, that looks fucking good, man. Holy fuck, that looks fucking good. God damn. That looked way better than I thought it was going to fucking look. Way better than I thought it was going to look. But that's the fucking problem with all the Transformer movies. Every fucking Transformer movie... Move, 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 move. Every Transformer movie has a really fucking good trailer. And then the movie's fucking straight up dog fucking ass. So, I don't know, man. You fucking fool me once, Transformers. Fool me seven other times with the other fucking movies. But I don't know if I'm going to let you fool me again. Because... Fuck, I don't know, man. I'm, shit, I might have to go see this one in the fucking movie theater, man. Because, holy shit. This, that battle scene with, like, all of them fighting against all the... Like, oh my fucking god. That actually looked really fucking, like, cool as fuck. So, yeah. We may be having to go check that one out, ghouls and gals. That might be, uh... That might be one that we, uh, have to review here on the Ryan T Show. Fuck, man. Jesus, that looks fucking good. And, um, again, uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast comes out June 9th, 2023. And if you're into some fucking, uh, animal on car fucking action, and that sounded way dirtier than I needed it to sound, but, oh well, here we are. We said it. It came out of my mouth. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you're into some animal on car action, Transformers Rise of the Beast may be, uh, up your alley. And, uh, speaking of, uh, Beasts, the next movie we're gonna talk about features, uh, Kylo Ren himself, Adam Driver, uh, fucking up some, uh, dinosaurs in, like, the future, I think? I just kinda saw, like, the thumbnail for, like, this, um, for this movie called 65, and apparently, uh, it's about, it says, after a ca ca catastrophic crash on an unknown planet, pilot M M Mills quickly discovers he's actually stranded on uh, dot 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 I have to read the description in here yeah here's the official uh, synopsis for it it says after a catastrophic uh, crash on an unknown uh, planet pla pilot Mills quickly discovers he's actually stranded on earth 65 million years ago now with only one chance at rescue Mills and the only other survivor Koa uh, must make their way across an unknown terrain riddled with dangerous prehistoric creatures in an epic fight to survive. Watch 65 in theaters. March 10th, 2023. Oh, this one's coming out in the same time that, uh, fucking, um, uh, Scream's coming out in. So Adam Driver is not only gonna have to fight fucking dinosaurs, he's also gonna have to fucking contend against fucking Ghostface to see if he's gonna be able to, uh, beat him in a fucking fight for the box office which i don't think he is i mean i haven't seen the trailer yet but uh i don't know judging by that premise it sounds like something out of a fucking uh, sci-fi fucking channel movie but we're gonna check it out ghouls and gals and we're gonna see what we're rocking with here let's uh get 65 on the fucking movie on the fucking projector and roll it There's something alien out there. Again, I hate this trailer starting now bullshit. I fucking hate that. I don't like that they do that. Why do they always do that? They're like, trailer starting now. Just start the fucking trailer. Okay, it started. Sorry. He, he, does he just do like space movies now only? Right, they're like, you were in Star Wars that one time. You should come out. On a long range exploratory mission. Oh, he went through like a black hole and somehow he went to the Send past. Help. 
I guess I can kind of fuck with this. We've crash landed on an uncharted celestial body. What's that game, uh, Time Crisis, right? Where he's in the, the fucking jungle shooting dinosaurs and shit? I can fuck with that. I've located one survivor. A child. A child. Oh, Sam Raimi, my boy, Sam Raimi, producing this bitch. Yeah, you know it's gonna be on some weird shit if he's producing it. Oh, there's something alien out there. Something alien so he's gonna be fighting against like an alien dinosaur, like a giant alien dinosaur. Show it, show it. 65 million years ago. Thank God they didn't name the movie 65 million years ago, because that'd be a terrible fucking name for a movie. Oh! The giant fucking T-Rex! We need to be quiet. This March. And move. When past meets future. Adam Driver is Dino Dino Kill Man. Get home. <laughs> Ready? He just gonna like force choke it. I said no. <laughs> nah, this looks actually kind of cool. I, I, I'm fucking with this. This looks cool. I think this looks cool. This looks like the perfect amount of like over the top and like kind of like corny and like cheesy and like bad. Like I'm kind of I'm kind of into this. I'm kind of into that. From the writers of A Quiet Place. Yeah, that looks kind of good. That looks kind of good. Um, I'm kind of fucking with. Uh, I'm kind of fucking with 65. I don't. I don't mind 65. Uh, one fucking bit. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be this kind of like a little bit uh, like popcorny type movie. You know what I mean? That doesn't take itself like too too serious, but serious enough to where you know you're gonna be invested in what's going on. And uh, I fucking like Adam Driver. I like the movies that he's in. I think he's a convincing uh, fucking actor. And he was an actual real soldier in real life. And I want to say he actually killed dinosaurs in real life. I mean, I think I heard that. I read that somewhere. So uh, I think he uh, is going to be good. I think he's going to be good for this fucking role, man. I think he's going to be good as the role as... Uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, Pilot Mills? I don't think he... I guess he doesn't have a first name. I guess his first name is Pilot. Last name Mills. I don't know. But uh, yeah... 65, man. I think it's going to look fucking cool, man. Adam Driver in the fucking uh, rainforest fucking around with some dinos and shit like that. Fucking riding them, shooting them, fucking eating them, having sex with them, whatever the fuck he's going to do with them. I think it's going to be fucking cool, man. I think uh, 65 looks like a good fucking movie, man. It looks like it kind of is going to be reminiscent of like maybe like Jurassic Park meets like kind of like Predator in a way like that. You know what I mean? Kind of like soldiers against some sort of like creature or whatever i don't know looks interesting to me and uh speaking 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 of films that look interesting infinity pool this fucking movie came on my radar uh i want to say like uh, two or three days ago i had no idea about it and um this other the other new scream queen fucking mia goth pearl herself um dropped this fucking trailer on uh twitter it's a neon film starring her and Alexander Skarsgård, and I literally know nothing about it except for a um, like still image that I saw on uh, one of these like little gossip fucking rags. But yeah, it's a film called uh, Infinity Pool. It's made by uh, Neon and Topic Studios, and it stars Alexander Skarsgård and Mia Goth. And uh, the official synopsis for the film is, While staying at an isolated island resort, James, at, played by Alexander Skarsgård, and M, played by Cleopatra Coleman, are enjoying a perfect vacation of pristine beaches, exceptional staff, and soaking up the sun. Sounds like the fucking White Lotus. Uh, but guided by the seductive and mysterious Gabby, who's played by Mia Goth, they venture outside the resort grounds and find themselves in a culture filled with violence, hedonism, and untold horror. A tragic accident leaves them uh, facing a zero-tolerance policy for crime. Either you'll be executed, or if you're rich enough to afford it, you can watch yourself die instead. So whatever that means, we're going to find out right fucking now, because we're about to watch the trailer for Infinity Pool. Let's pop that bad boy on, and let's see what we got going. But first, 
Let me take this bitch off and let me put this bitch on. All right, ghouls and gals, three, two, one, infinity pool. All right. Alexander, I'm a vampire scars guard. Oh, that's that chick's name? She's come out in a couple of shit. I always, I always confuse her for Zoe Kravitz. Fucking Mia Goth looking like fucking uh, Chanel West Coast for a minute there. <laughs> oh shit, he's a fucking, he's married to a rich fucking chick. Just based on the vibe alone, I think I'm going to dig this fucking movie. It's like fucked up White Lotus, like even more fucked up version of White Lotus. Jennifer Coolidge is going to come out and be like, oh, hey. <laughs> That's my Jennifer Coolidge impression. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like hostile a little bit. Yeah, this is like a little bit like hostile. Whoa! What the fuck? He just went into like some VR fucking world. Oh shit, that's what they mean by watch yourself die. It's like a clone of yourself that you can see, like, see if they live or die. What the fuck? This is like weird but cool. Like it's like it's like fucking uh hostel meets fucking us. And they're also hunting each other. It's like a mix of a lot of fucking different movies. That's kind of cool, man. Alexander Skarsgård, Mia Goth, Cleopatra Coleman. A film by Brandon Cronenberg. Oh shit. David Cronenberg's son. You know it's going to be a fucked up movie. This looks good. This looks good. Infinity Pool looks fucking also really fucking good. God damn man. We're fucking five for five. Every fucking trailer that we've seen has been pretty fucking good. And I think my favorite one so far is maybe Infinity Pool. I mean, Infinity Pool is like an actual, like, real, like, real fucking movie. All those other movies, like Transformers, Spider-Man, um, 65, Scream, those movies, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're also real actual movies, but, you know what I mean? They're more kind of like, you know, like, you know, like, uh, McDonald's and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, they're just something that you, like, something popular and something, like, tasty. You know what I mean? Like, everybody kind of likes them, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah... Uh, Infinity Pool looks really fucking interesting. I'm really interested to see, like, what exactly is going on. From what I can gather, um, these people get roped into this weird, like, uh, hedonistic fucking cult-like situation where, like, it's either you get killed or if you have enough money, you can, uh, make a clone of yourself and watch that thing get killed. But it also has feelings and it's, like... Kind of like the movie Us meets the movie fucking uh, The Most Dangerous Game meets fucking Hostile because they're like in a fucking foreign country and torturing people and shit like that. I mean, there's a lot of fucking uh, inspirations here and I fucking kind of dig that. And I also like that this film is made by a fucking Cronenberg. Uh, David Cronenberg made... Make some fucking crazy ass fucking movies and I can't wait to see what his fucking old son has cooked up for this fucking movie. So that should be really fucking interesting. And uh, Infinity Pool comes out January 27th, 2023. So we won't have to wait long at all to, uh, to see that one come out. Uh, that one's going to be coming out pretty fucking soon. The only thing that worries me about Infinity Pool is that it's coming out in January. And anybody that watches a lot of fucking movies, uh, a la this guy right fucking here, knows that all the fucking shitty movies come out in fucking January. That's when, like, everybody dumps all their fucking shit movies is on fucking january so i hope that isn't the fucking case with infinity pool i hope it's not i don't hope i don't have fucking an infinity of fucking hate for this fucking movie i hope it's an infinity of fucking love and i hope i fucking love this movie i hope it's a fucking pool of fucking love and not a fucking pool of fucking shit because uh movies are notoriously very fucking bad that come out in january but uh hopefully this one makes breaks the stereotype but uh yeah keep our Keep our collective fingers crossed for Infinity Pool. 
Uh, but yeah, ghouls and gals, Across the Spider-Verse looks fucking good. Scream 6 looks fucking good. Uh, Infinity Pool, fucking good. Uh, 65, fucking good. Uh, Transformers, Rise of the Beast, fucking good. Uh, so yeah, all of those look really good. They look like, um, I'm going to probably check on all of them. And uh, just to go over the uh, release dates again, uh, Across the Spider-Verse, June 2nd, 2023. Scream 6, March 10th, 2023. Infinity Pool, January 27th, 2023. Uh, 65, March 10th, 2023. Transformers, Rise of the... <laughs> Beast, <laughs> June 9th, 2023. Um, but yeah, there you have it, ghouls and gals. We talked about some spiders. We shot webs in everybody's face. We screamed. We took a swim in the infinity pool. We went back in time 65 million years. We fucking saw some transformers and their beasts rise. And uh, yeah, ghouls and gals. Um, the next video you can probably see me in is going to be my review of Violent Night. Um, I checked that out over the weekend, and uh, I've been wanting to review that. So uh, I'll probably be uh, doing that here in the next couple of days. Uh, you know what? I'll probably end up uh, doing that on... Uh on probably Saturday. So make sure y'all go ahead and tune into the uh, Ryan T Show podcast on Saturday. I'm going to be live on uh, probably here on Facebook and on also Twitch. And uh, I'm going to be fucking uh, drinking some fucking beers. I'm going to be fucking uh, maybe smoking some J's. And uh, we're going to be talking about Violent Night starring fucking David Harbour. So uh, make sure you ghouls and gals tune into that. And uh, until then, I'm Ryan T and I'll... See you in the next one. Yeah.